What's up, guys? Welcome to A Resource Life. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me. In this episode, I'm going to go over how I listed 2,000 items in two months using the Sellhound app. This is a review and a tutorial. So if you want to watch the end part of the video, I'm going to go over step by step how I list an item in about 60 seconds. Um, if you're listening to this on iTunes, um, you probably want to watch this YouTube video because it's a screen share of how I actually do this. So in the last two months, I started using Sellhound around November 25th. Um, from then, at that time, this store was doing maybe $10 a day. It was just an experiment store. And now the store is doing between 600 and 800 a day. So it's been about two months of listing 30 a day. Um, this process of listing items that are $20 profit or more around a $60 ASP is about $200,000 a year in net profit. So 600,000 in sales. If this trend just continues, I don't see why it wouldn't because it's very consistent. 30 a day is, is very achievable for a full-time reseller in my opinion. It just depends on if you have supply lockdown. If you have supply lockdown, getting 30 up is just a matter of creating a routine. Um, so again, if you're watching or listening to this on iTunes, you probably wanna watch the YouTube video. And if you wanna look at it towards the end, the tutorial part is actually very fast because I'm doing it in real time. So you can see how I do a um, listing in about 60 seconds. It actually takes 63 seconds on average for me to do a listing and about one to two minutes for the photography part. So you're talking about two to three minutes to do a listing. 30 listings is taking me like an hour and a half to get that done if I'm just doing just the 30. Um, one more thing before we get straight into the tutorial, which is that um, I actually list more than that in really tight sessions so you know a little bit of controversy with my um with my workers or for myself when i do listing i do three hours in a row that's my um habit routine without any breaks so i know some people think that that's weird but i i don't want my workers working all day i found with listing photography that's that's doesn't work well for me stretching it out so i've condensed it to about thirty dollars an hour for three hours no breaks get as much done as possible because once you get into a rhythm you can bust out a lot of stuff so and my workers so far have not complained about making thirty dollars an hour in three hours that's like a really tight way uh, tight time frame to make a good chunk of money. So I think you can train someone to use Sellhound. I'm calling them Sellhounders. Um, within maybe, I would say six weeks, you could teach somebody who's never done it before to take pictures exactly the way that you want to take them. If you look at my store, all 16, or there's now 1,780 items in my store with a quantity of 3,000. And um, you, you can look at the photos. The reason why the first photo is different is because I have a different worker taking those pictures so I can keep track of who is doing what. Um, at this pace, I could actually, with this system, list 150 items per day with the crew that I have. And another thing that I have noticed from doing this for a while is it's much better to have more than one person available to do it because traditionally for me, part-time contractors are not reliable. So instead of beating your head against the wall, trying to make somebody do something that they're not that serious about, I now just have a few different people that know how to do it so I don't have to rely on one person and my stress level has gone way down. So I'm super excited about that part of it. Um, so let's get straight into the tutorial. Again, if you are listening on iTunes, um, leave a review over there, leave a comment or a like in the, in the description below, in, in the comment section below, and let me know if you like these type of tutorials. And again, you may wanna watch it a few times so you can really get um, how it works. And again, this store, you can follow along, it's Daily Refinement on eBay. And the store has gone from, again, about from zero to about $800 a day. And at full scale, this should do just around $1,800 to $2,000 per day. Um, you also, before we get into the review, I wanna point out that the click-through rate and sales conversion rate on this store is really, in my opinion, relatively low. And that's because the ASP is so high. It's in a $60 average sale price store, sell-through rate is gonna be much lower than if you sell $20 items or $15 items. So it depends on your model. Um, so for some people, you're gonna need a much smaller store than me for me to reach that goal. I personally need a 4,500 item store to reach my goal. But if you sell cheaper items that sell quicker, you may not need a store that's that size. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as you grow your store, understand your conversion. You're not gonna understand your conversion or your store if you sell in too many categories. 
That's really important to understand. Focus on one category so you actually know what's going on. All right, guys, appreciate your time. Let's get into it. Step one is going to be preparing your items for listing. This is um, perhaps steaming or cleaning or washing. Um, you can see on this pair of used shoes, I removed all the thrift store tags. And then also on the bottom, there was a sticker for how much it cost. I removed that. Sometimes there's annoying marker that you may have to get off. I usually use a dry erase marker to get rid of permanent marker. Uh, depends on the surface though. So make sure you know how you are cleaning your items. Um, and the number one thing that's gonna make your items sell or not really is the condition. So if you spend the time to clean your items, your items are gonna sell a lot quicker. So step one is actually preparing all your items. You don't wanna change tasks. So these 10 items are ready to be listed right away. Step two is assigning them a location. I recommend that you um, have some kind of inventory system so that you can find items. A80, A81 is my bin location. That is one of 500 bins in my storage area. And this is going to go in the custom SKU section of the Cellhound app, which we'll go over shortly. Okay, step number three. After you've prepped your item and you've assigned it a location, now we are going to take a photograph of the item. So I recommend getting a light box. Um, I have uh, all my supplies linked at bit.ly slash reseller supplies. That's my affiliate link for Amazon. The reason why I recommend using a light box is it's really easy to get standardized photos. Um, this is my setup for home. So it's much smaller. I actually use a six foot light box, but this is just a two foot light box at home. Um, you can end up cropping the photos using a different program, but I want to let you guys know with your cell phone, you can adjust the contrast by just touching the screen and then moving your finger up and down. You can actually adjust the contrast to um, lessen the effect of the background. So what I actually recommend, if you have a high-end item, is to edit your photos after the fact. If you're just selling common items though, you may just want to get the square photo um, set up so that you know it's optimized for eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, the main platforms. And then you, know, you can easily crop out um, the square image to give yourself a flat view. Um, I recommend at least eight photos. Um, it depends on what kind of items you sell, but try to take a picture of all angles, front, back, and then you're gonna want detailed shots of the logo and the size tag. Okay, step four. I'm actually gonna upload on Cellhound in real time. This process takes me about one minute. I do not recommend taking photos separately and then uploading them later in the app. It only takes about one minute, so I recommend you do it right after you take your photograph so that you don't have to scroll because when you scroll, you can end up making mistakes uh, and entering in the wrong photo. So just one at a time that we don't forget any pictures and you can easily train somebody to do this uh, in about a week or two. So I recommend take photos, immediately upload it in the cell hound. You may have to watch this a couple of times to see my exact process takes about one minute and I use eight photos usually so it can go on the Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay easily. This process takes about one minute. Um, so just be patient, practice. You can use Text Expander to save shortcuts for your notes. And remember, just do it one at a time to reduce Step errors. Number five, I package it in these clear poly mailers and then I put it away in the bin. So this is A81 again and I do this this process takes about 15 seconds and it's the final part. I just think it's a better presentation to put them in here and then also it's easier to find the items when they're inside the bin. So hopefully that's helpful, guys. Okay, in step number six, I actually opened up the Cellhound app. This takes about one business day for them to create a draft. I'm gonna review the title, adjust the title a little bit, the pricing and adjust the shipping a little bit and then I'm gonna launch it. I like to launch 30 of these a day and I have about 420 in the backup. I have three bonus tips for you guys. Number one, keep a queue of items so that you can launch listings every single day and just keep a momentum going. Number two, use a different profile picture for each contractor so different people have a different style so you can see whose listings is which. And then number three, I pay about $1.50 for this process. A dollar to take photos and then 50 cents to upload it in the cell hound. That's about $20 to $30 an hour depending on who's working for me. 
What's up guys? When it comes to Cellhound, I highly recommend it. I do have an affiliate link in the description below for Cellhound. Um, go ahead and try it. The first three listings are free. Um, I recommend you do this if you are in the clothing category and you want to save time. I personally love it because they fill out every single item specific on eBay. Now, you are going to have to adjust the titles and the pricing, but again, that takes me roughly 20 seconds. That's like step number five or six for me to adjust it. And if you don't understand the category well enough to make the adjustments, then you may not want to use Sellhound. You may want to use eBay.com and use Sell Similar. Find the item on eBay, Sell Similar, list that way. But if you kind of have an idea of how to list and you understand your category, then definitely use Sellhound because they're going to do 90% of the manual labor for you. And for me, it's totally worth it because. The number one metric that matters the most is how many listings you actually get up and sell each week. Um, it doesn't matter if you purchase tools and it doesn't increase the number of listings that you um, get up each week. So don't fall in the trap of just buying things to buy things. Only buy tools and software that helps you list more items each week. And that's going to help you reduce the inventory um, piles that you have and also just help that sell through rate with that consistent listing. It's all about habits, guys. I'm basing this particular business on 30 listings per day. And so you need to break down your goals into an achievable, realistic time frame. I want to keep my eBay store to around two hours a day, depending on how long you guys want to work in your store. Adjust your goals. If you want to reach out to me, you can email me at chris at dailyrefinement.com. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. And if this video was useful, share it with somebody. Until next time, make progress daily.